basketball. Oh. I love that basketball. Basketball. We love that basketball. Hey, y'all, what's going on? I know it's been a minute, you know, since I've been here. So, good morning to you everywhere, anywhere. And however you getting it, I want to thank you and welcome you to the Mental Health Sports Edition. Okay? And listen, today I really, really wanted to talk about Kevin Durant. Okay? And, um, you know, his move to the Brooklyn Nets. Because, you know, I love the Brooklyn Nets now. So don't let me, don't get it twisted. Um, I do love Brooklyn. However, what I was trying to, what I was wondering was how do some of y'all feel about that? Um, and another thing was, is, you know, I heard Andre Iguodala and he did an interview on The Breakfast Club. And the next thing I knew, he was out of a job. I don't know if there's a correlation between the two. Um, uh. But do you, what y'all think? Do you think that had anything to do with why he, Iggy was traded? Because he made a few controversial um, statements about being injured, about, you know, possibly KB being injured, and maybe the team put pressure on him to play. So, in lieu of that, I'd like to do this interview, read this interview, I'm sorry, that Kevin Durant just did. And it was. Um, it was done, uh, uh, you know, it's who's, I don't know exactly who it was done by. We'll get to that. I think it's, um, the, uh, it, but it was an exclusive interview with Chris Haynes of Yahoo Sports, okay? So, uh, Durant, you know, he's had a low profile, and everybody knows. You haven't heard too much about him since he tore his Achilles um, in that final game, right? We haven't heard too much from him. But Chris Hayes of Yahoo Sports, um, you know, was 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 uh, lucky enough to get this interview, and I guess got him being real about the situation. So let's get into it. Um, it says from the moment that Kevin, uh, that Durant headed to the locker room after 11 minutes of play, the second guessing began. Who made the call? Was he fully recovered enough from the prior injury? Was everyone aware of the risks? So, I guess they got straight into the conversation. So, Chris asked him, he said, do you think the Warriors mishandled the injury? He said, Durant slowly straightened up his perplexed expression on his face. Hell no. How can you blame the Warriors? Hell no, Durant told Yahoo Sports. I heard the Warriors... Uh, pressured me into coming back. Nobody ever said a word to me during rehab as I was coming back. It was only me and the director of sports medicine and performance, Rick Celebrini, working out every day. Right when the series started, I targeted game five. Hell no. It just happened that way. It's just basketball. Spending the day with uh, in L.A. with KD, first interview in two months, Kevin Durant on choosing Brooklyn, how things ended in Golden State, and who's to blame for his injury rehab update, the uh, untold stories, okay. Now, he said he made his decision to go to Brooklyn on June 30th, the first day in which free agents such as himself could re reach agreements, but not officially signed. He says, I never uh, wanted to disrespect the game by putting my focus on the future. It was always about that day, focusing on that day and what was important on that day. And throughout the season, basketball is the number one thing. Okay? Um, just what y'all think about that? You know, when, in, especially when he makes the counter, um, the statement that, you know, do you think that Iggy you know, overstepped his bounds by saying something like that. What you think about him choosing Brooklyn? I mean, I 
Okay. Um, this is some other few things he said. The Nets restocked their roster this summer and signed an all-star guard Kyrie Irving, DeAndre Jordan. Usually where there's smoke, you know, they had been saying these two was going to team up. Uh, uh, Kyrie Irving and Durant. So, anyway, he goes, I don't know. Durant said when asked by Yahoo Sports about him being expected to miss the whole season. He said, just like I didn't know I was going to get hurt. I don't know. We'll see. I'm early in the process, so I'm grinding every day. I'm not even thinking that far. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to do me any good to think that far. So I just try to focus on what I can focus on right now, second by second. Who knows? We'll see. Well, I think that's that's pretty good. I think it's important to stay in the now, and that's very hard to do. We always want to think ahead or behind. So I, I respect him for that. He also says, but once you get to learn your body a little bit more, you realize what the injury is. You know, it's going to take a, a lot of work for me to get back to full strength. I was at a point where mentally and physically my body and my mind had met at the right point. I had reached a level that I'd never reached before. My mind is still there. Now my body just has to catch up. And once it does, I'll be fine. As he left the court, Following his injury on Game 5, there was a moment in which some of the fans at the uh, Scotiabank Arena cheered as he was helped off the court. Durant said he doesn't remember hearing the fans that night, but had a statement for them now. He said, it will probably be the last time they will be in the final. Ooh, that's what he said. The Raptors, ooh. Uh, anyway, overall, Durant said he was driven to play in Game 5, the finals, and was locked into doing so, with the timeline being solely his own. No matter what the series was, I was aiming for Game 5, he told Yahoo Sports. That's why I played it when I was, I mean, that's why I played when it was 3-1. No matter what, I just wanted to play in the finals. I just wanted to hoop. Especially if I could be out there. I was feeling good enough leading up to it. I was working out every day. I was gradually getting myself back into the two days. Um, I was really locked in on my game and trying to get back. I really wanted to play in that series. Durant went on to, dim to dismiss the decision to leave Golden State for Brooklyn. Uh, because I wanted to. Just what he thought of speculation when he was headed to the Knicks. That was crazy. And how he's handling his rehabilitation. My mind is still there. Now my body just has to catch up. Once it does, again, I'll be fine. Uh, wow. Even without uh, Durant's injury last season, the Warriors was a particularly challenging one for the Warriors at times. Early in the season, he and teammate Draymond Green had a tip that led to Green being suspended one game without pay. At the time, it was speculated that the incident led to Durant's decision to move on from Golden State, which Durant squashed in his Yahoo Sports interview. Hell yeah, I'm tired of talking about that f shit. Look, we're grown men, Durant told Sports, Yahoo Sports. We understand this is what this is. We're playing basketball for a living. It's a business. Everybody congratulated me when I went to the Nets. Everybody wished me well. And they know that I'm still a phone call away. So I just happen to play in a different jersey now. Nothing else is going to change. In all, Durant had nothing but positive to say about his time with the Golden State Warriors, which is good. It's, and it's hard to see how he could not. After signing with the Warriors in a surprise free agent move in 2016, Durant won back-to-back -back NBA championships and finals MVPs. You know, he, reflecting back, this is what he said. He said, you know, it was a life-changing experience, he told the sports. I grew up as a young adult in OKC, and then entering into my 30s in Golden State was an enlightening experience. Getting to play the game and reaching that level with the players of different backgrounds. 
It was just so much that went into that experience that elevated me mentally, physically, and elevated my game. It was a fun time, and I appreciated everything and all that we accomplished together. And again, he said his decision to leave Golden State for Brooklyn just because he wanted to. And that's it. So what y'all think? Why do y'all think he chose Brooklyn? Do y'all think that he was a little upset um, and he never really quite got over uh, that? Because I'm, you know, I'm hearing he's real sensitive. So if he is or if he's not, most of us are. You know, you think that he really 100% recovered from that or if he just thought it was time to move on um, and get his own shine and get his own team and um, try it on his own with him and Kyrie. What y'all think? I actually, I would really, really like to hear. So leave your comments below. And uh, thanks for listening, okay? So I'll see you next time and see if we can come back with another hot story. Because, you know, it's all going to be gravy now. LeBron then went to L.A. And when he's got Anthony Davis. Um, I, I still think one of the best point guards in the business is uh, Rajon Rondo. So I don't see how they're going to work that out. But let's talk about that the next one. All right, you guys. Go out and make it a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one.